All right, guys, we're back here at the hangar and I just stepped on Sam's foot. And if you can look at Sam, he's a little long on the tooth here. I don't think he shaved in a few days. I don't I think not. he did his hair. I'm he's been, been here. here. He's been here every morning before I get here, well before I get here. And I stopped in last night at like 10 o'clock and he was here with his wife while she was watching him work on stuff. Actually, she was telling him what he needed to do yeah, on this yeah, stuff, honestly. Right. So she was doing a great job. Good job, Kenny. This project has, it's taken a little bit of a life of its own just because there's just so many things that, um, you know, that, that, that we're running into that need taken care of. I need to kick it in high gear. Sam's already in high gear. Vinny over here, I mean, he's been stuck in that airplane for at least the last, I don't know, a couple hours. We're gonna get down to the hangar. Actually, I think Sam and Vinny are gonna go down to the hangar while I try to sort out, sort out some of this wiring stuff. And they're gonna get the wings up here, and we're gonna start getting the wings on Freedom. Let's go. All right. Oh. Welcome to Rebuild Rescue. <laughs> there you go. Ready, ready to bolt on. No. Uh, Told you we had to put all those bolts and things on. Oh. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. So this video may have never happened because it could already be done. This paint job, this paint job took so long. <laughs> this paint job took 160 hours is what I'm hearing. More than that. Yeah. We had to make some adjustments to the way the transponder mounts in here. And then that'll give us enough room for the wire clearances to go right out underneath here and miss all the controls. You uh, were by chance to crash in that thing. This is that. This is your crash pad. That's just a tube. <laughs> yeah, that's your crash pad. All right, we got the transponder and the switch panel with the relays all wired up. We're waiting on a USB-C port, but it's all done. Just gotta bolt it in. I, I, I mean, I think Sam might have had a different idea of which way to go about getting everything in, but somehow, miraculously, miraculously, miraculously. Hey, mir how do you say it's that? Not, it's not in. You have to get that in and those bolts in. Can you say you miraculous? Can <laughs> about four inches too short to get back to here while going under what we would need to go under for it to be secure. All right, we're back here in the hangar. I think it's like day three, working on Freedom. And today it's Mike, Sam and I, we're gonna be getting some wings on this thing, hopefully. I actually just found out a few minutes ago that these wings have never been on this airplane. So, 
They've never been on a airplane. Uh, okay, okay. So now I just found out something else that these wings have never been on an airplane ever. Yesterday, Vinny, Sam, and I um, really were just working on the cockpit more. We did get the, you know, the control panel in here. The, f the floor is ready to be bolted down. Now we didn't fire it up yet, so we didn't power it up. We don't know <laughs> if it's actually gonna work, but it's all installed. So what is that for? Go into the hole and just wind it up. Rather than using a Phillips head screwdriver, this is the right side for it. So actually, uh, Mike was just explaining to me, I didn't even think about this, so we got the center section on, and I was feeling pretty good there for a second. But then he explained that we have, we have to put the wings on obviously, and the wings mount directly in between the fuel tank, um, you know, and the upper wing. So we could pull all those back out again, hold the wing up and drive the bolt through all of it. And it's all just a little bit off in a way. That's gonna be interesting. Is, 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 is this normal? So it's normal, so it's nothing to be alarmed about. No. Okay. So do we have uh, Harry over here hold the wing up the whole day then after we get the top one on while we do the other one or? Theoretically, should be identical. I don't remember them being different, but we didn't look either when we took it apart. The other ones are over there and have a swipe bin in it, but those are for the old wings. We did dry fit these, and they did what? Work. Yeah, they're identical. But why don't we lay a bottom wing out and okay. take a look? hole drilled through the fitting that if the threads are beyond that hole you're in a safe condition there's enough threads engaged into the fitting to be safe if there's an if you see daylight through it you got to keep going until you at least see one thread through there Jason, what are you doing? Oh, my deal dash. What, uh, what deal is today? Actually, I'm trying to bid on this 24-in-1 steel white compact moldy tool card. And I just got it for a cent. Take a look at this. This is like crazy. Does it have a 9 16th wrench? Because that's what I need right now. No, no 9 16th wrench, but it's 24-in-1. It has all kinds of cool stuff on it. So it's, it's just like a credit card. Look at that. It's just like a tool card. I got it for a cent. Actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. It measures everything for you. Yeah. And it's actually, it has, you know, it'll, it'll do. Yeah. It'll do nuts. It'll do bolts. No, oh, that's actually pretty cool. You can have it. Oh. I got it for a cent. It was like, it was like a, it was like a penny. 
That's nice. You can get on here. It's actually a little bit addicting because I may or may not have been on here a few times today while everybody was working and just putting bids on stuff. I mean, literally I'm just sitting there and I put a bid on one penny and I got a tool that I can keep in my wallet or on me. Yeah, like a penny, one cent. And there's thousands of these deals on here. So Deal Dash is such an awesome tool. It's actually a pretty cool way to pass time and, and get some fun stuff. From cars to tools, what else is on here? Computers, iPads, iPhones, laptops. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go get a laptop. Oh, and guys, don't forget, when you guys go on Deal Dash, make sure you use our code REBUILDRESCUE. Now, I'm gonna go get some deals. So as Sam and Mike were fitting the lower wing on the right side of the airplane, the attachment reinforcements that hook up to the landing wires needed a little bit more clearance. So these wings, like we mentioned before, these were built from scratch and they were never on an airplane. So there has to be some adjustments done to them to get them to fit just right. Yeah, so for each one of those wires, we actually will have to put an access hole in here. It's a reinforced part of the wing. And it'll actually go down through the wing and then come out and everything connects right on those bolts. So those bolts hold so much weight in so many different directions and so much tension. So right now, Sam's actually taking a X-Acto knife or a razor blade and cutting holes in the wing to get to the different mounting points based on the plans because it was, what, about two years ago these were built? Oh, no, 20. about 20 years ago. Oh, 20 years ago. Oh, these were built 20 years ago. They were painted two years ago. Oh, painted two years ago. Those will glue down to nice. the wire. There's a slice in there. The wire goes through. Actually, they're already on nice. the wires. It's like a doctor right now. Sponge, quick. So we're trying to install the eye strut and the clearance from this point to that point is off by about 3 16 of an inch. We're going to shim this adjustment. It's, like a, it's, it's almost like a high end, but it's, it's hooked solid to the main spar. So we're actually going to put an entrance uh, access point here and we're going to shim it out so everything fits absolutely perfect. We probably could have forced it in, but you just can't do that in an airplane. I mean, everything's just got to fit just right. That's it. Yeah, you picked the right amount. All right, so we're end of the day here on the wing project, but we really didn't get far. It actually turns out that these wings, this is the first time they were installed on an aircraft and they were built 25 years ago. We didn't get a lot done, but we actually did get a lot done, if that makes any sense to you, because fitting them and, and, and getting them all figured out, that's like half the work. It takes forever. Again, this is aviation. Sam's gonna be flying this around with his wife, Kenny, and we really don't want them racking or falling out of the sky. Wait, she says she's not flying. <laughs> so, so guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn your notifications, 
and follow along. We got a lot of work to do on this bird yet, so we'll be back. <laughs>